Hello class, Mr. Stone here. Our lesson today is solving equations. So what I have up above, I have the rules to remember. It says when solving an equation, the goal is to get the variable. The variable would be the X, the W, the Y, the T, whatever they have for a letter. That's what we want to get by itself, no matter what side it's on. It could be on the right side, the left side, it doesn't really matter, you can move it around, okay? But the goal is to get that all by itself. The way you do that, is you do the adverse operations. Like as they say, addition, subtraction, adverse operations, they're opposites. Multiplication, adverse operations. Okay, they're the opposites. So if, I'll just look at the example below. The What you have is you have the problem negative 11 equals 13 plus 8W. What I always do first, I get rid of the constant, which would be the 13, okay? So that's how I'd start this problem, okay? So now you got a positive 13, so the way to get rid of that is a negative 13. So let's get the pen going. Pen, regular, okay? So what I do here is I do minus 13 off both sides. Because what you do to one side, you gotta do the other side, okay? So you do a minus 13 over here, okay? Now bring it down. These two cross out, the positive 13, the negative 13 crosses out. Now, you got negative 11 minus 13, okay? So, the way that works is you're still going to the left, okay? So, you're going to come out with a negative number, okay? So, it's going to be a negative 24. And then you bring the 8W down. The 8W comes down. So, this negative 24 equals 8W, okay? But, as you see... The W isn't alone yet. So what you have is 8 times W. So the diff, the adverse operations for a multiplication problem is division. So what you want to do is divide both sides by 8. Okay, divide both sides by 8. Now, these two 8s cross out. 8 over 8 is only a 1. So it, it gets rid of itself. Now, you have 8 divided by a negative 24. So... A positive number divided by a negative number, they're opposites, so the negative wins out. So your answer is going to be a negative 3. Negative 3 equals W. Equals W. Wish they gave you a bigger piece of paper here. But that's the answer. It's negative 3 equals W. And that's all there was to that. I'm going to blow up the other one just to, to have it a little bigger, okay? So we got a little more space, okay? So now, your next problem, okay? I'll only do a few of these, then I'll leave them for you. Okay, we have a negative 7 equals negative 9 plus K. Okay, so we got to get the K by itself. So, the opposite of negative 9 is a positive 9. So, I'd add 9 to both sides. Okay, add 9 to this side. Let's get to say in fine tip. Okay, equals. Now, we add positive 9 to this side. So what we have here, let's draw a quick T-chart just to do this, okay? So we have a negative and a positive, okay? We put the 9 on the positive side. We put the 7 on the negative side. The difference between the two is 2, and it's a positive. Positive team wins out. So we get a positive 2 equals, and these two cross each other out, equals, and we bring the K down, equals K, and that's your answer. Positive 2 equals K. That's all there was to that one. Here, let's go down to number 3. Okay, got plenty of space here to write. Okay, so now the problem we got now is 12 minus 4Y equals 40. Okay, let's get rid of the 12 first. That's the easiest thing. So if we got a positive, we put a negative in there. That's the opposite. So if we do to one side, we got to do to the other side. Okay. These two cross each other out, right? Now, 40 minus 12, okay? Never be, you know, if you're not 100% sure in your math, okay? Just do it on a scrap piece of paper, okay? Do 40 minus 12, okay? You cross this out, you get a 3, and you carry 1 over, okay? So you get 10 minus 2 is an 8. 3 minus 1 is 2, so it's 28, okay? Now... The positive's a bigger part. It was a positive 40 and it's only a minus 12. So this is going to be a positive 28, okay? Just so you know you get that. 
Okay, you can put the equal signs down here. You carry the negative 4y down. 4y. Okay, now, to get rid of the negative 4y, you divide by negative 4. Okay, divide by negative 4. Because negative 4 over negative 4 equals 1. So, you just cross them out. Now, you divide this side by negative 4. So, these two cross each other out. Now, a negative divided by a positive. Remember, if it's two opposite things, the negative wins out. Okay, so 4 goes into 28 seven times. Okay, but the negative one out. So, it's going to be a negative. So, y equals negative 7. And that's all there was to that one. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I got a lot more on this thing for practice problems for you. Okay, and below here, I actually put the answer sheet for you. Okay, so you can look at it and say, hey, this is my answers. Okay, and that way you can go down and you can check and say, hey, what did I come up with? Okay, um... I'll just pause freeze this so you can actually freeze it and you can write these on scrap pieces of paper and then you can actually go down and I'll leave this up for a few seconds so you can pause this and say, hey, how did how did Mr. Stone do this and what did he come up with for an answer? And that's all there is to that, okay? Um, and remember what I say is, if you like this page, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel and remember what I always say is math can be fun. Okay, and it is. Okay, have a great day and thank you very much. Bye bye.